there are actually more people that have gone to space than have rode across an ocean. So we decided to do it. He gets a phone call from Omar Samra, who tells him, hey, I want to do this thing. I want to row across the Atlantic. We had you know, no experience. There was so much to learn. Two guys who really have no idea what rowing is about. He's done seven summits. He's went to both poles. I think this looked like a very reasonable next challenge to go. It was a challenge that we wanted to raise awareness about the plight of refugees. What we didn't know is how close our stories would become. It's actually a good naivety to not know what's coming. There isn't anything else that's like this. What happens if you get injured? What happens if I'm weak? What happens if I have this issue or that issue? What do we do? And then very quickly, just things started to compound. Waves get bigger, wind gets stronger. If something happens, it's finished. And you could feel that pressure build. It's seven, eight meter waves crashing. It is chaos. You know, what would I tell his, his family? I love you so much, baby. <laughs> it becomes just very clear that this is now just about us. No matter how much you think you understand, nothing will compare to the real thing. It's almost like my entire life led up to that one moment. I just found myself calling his name loud. Omar, where are you? Till this very day, it hurts remembering the feeling.